Hello, um, today's video is about caravans. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> my favourite subject. However, this one's a little bit different. I've got three versions of gypsy caravans, late 80s, early 90s stuff. Um, things have moved on a hell of a lot now and most travellers and my favourite is the tabard caravans or the um, hobbies and a lot of the German made stuff is very very good for uh, for touring with but early 90s it was all the Buccaneers, Romers and them type of things. I've got three examples of sort of what I'd call end of life caravans here one of which my daughter's adopted as a little summer bedroom um, and I'm going to show you around the three of them and just the differences and what what they're about. Okay, this is a Buccaneer Superstar. Pretty battered up, but nice little caravan. Little 15 foot, 18 foot, probably. Um, I'll show you inside, double axle, toes lovely these do, they're quite heavy for what they are, um, but nice old thing, now let me show you inside, this one's had a couple of windows smashed on it, but you got the serpentine cupboard fronts, this one's quite plain. I've had another one of these, um, which was a lot more mirrored. So you've got your certain time cupboards in there, the nice handles, mirrors up there. And this one had pink and white upholstery. So you've got a double up this end with a privacy door. And then we've got this end that makes up a double as well, which is a seating area. So, lights up in here. All four mic it out throughout, which is why my daughter likes it, because she can keep cleaning it and rubbing it with wipes and what have you. The thing that let these trailers down was the fact that the roof is in three bits and they always end up leaking on the seals with the movement and towing them about and I've, I've had two or three of these and they've all had water ingress around the these um, skylights and the bloody roofs always leak and that's why the tabard trailers always always end up being the preference because they've got a single piece roof but late 80s early 90s Anyone want to give me some comments about the exact date, I'd like to know. Just put the comment in the box below and all that. But yeah, that's the first one. So this is the second of the three. This is the Roma GT822. Now this was, well is, a big old trailer. Um, it's I think 27 foot in total with the hitch so you can see here it's very very long and the thing that does mean when I'm pulling this is you've got a lot behind them axles as well so when you turn and you've got to allow a hell of a lot which is why the trim's already been pulled off big 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 caravan so Roma Supreme GT 822 got the chocolate box windows I'll show you in this one this one's been well used let's put it that way so you got the seating area in here I think that pulls out into a double we've got a pink four mica throughout and we've got a kitchen area up this end And another little seating area so you can sit there and wait for your breakfast blinds throughout it's got an air con in it and then you've got a big double at this end 
and this is quite a substantial bedroom really um, again got the privacy doors in here this in the day were the trailer I mean anyone who was anyone had the big Roma GTs because I mean this is a family sized caravan and you could quite easily accommodate I think he sleeps six so you can see the space the room you got in here is quite phenomenal really for a for a tour and caravan these are about as big as you can get and you can see for yourself the space that's in here like i say these are count this is an old trailer now and it's certainly had a life so i'm just showing them as an example really there's um a hell of a lot nicer ones about um this is what i'd call an end of life caravan um, as you can see but in its day palatial number three on the gypsy top 10 caravan list this was or is the tabard contessa deluxe for birth i don't know about deluxe but I actually quite like this caravan I'll show you inside it's got 70s sort of style and got a cassette toilet in it and you know it's a deluxe one because it says on the back deluxe see these are cool got a little flappy let me show you inside this one this is a step back into the past original flooring look at that they don't make them like this anymore look at that seating I don't know what it was with 70s and 80s and early 90s caravans but they seem to have the orange and brown theme throughout um, they got the original lights in this corner lights and don't know quite what that's about but nice bit of upholstery on the walls We've got the original wheel covers this is a four berth you got another double up this end which this table would drop and make a double as well What's slightly unusual is look at that. You got a shower this side. You've got your privacy door to block that bedroom off, the same as what you'd have in the bigger trailers. But there's also a bathroom this side with a sort of fold out door here. So it's almost like an ensuite for the end bedroom. But I quite like this idea. For an old trailer, tabards always seem to be a little bit ahead of the time with what they were offering. And having a separate shower and a separate toilet seems like a really sensible idea to me. But yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. A real old classic. Shame really this has had got a bit of bit of water into it at some point, hadn't really been looked after very well. So again, end of life sort of stuff, but people do restore these and they do like them and you can kind of see why. Not for me, but a lot of people do like the old styling. So yeah, that's my top three of uh 1980s 1990s gypsy caravans so you've got the roma you've got the buccaneer and you've got the tabard and that's your top three i mean back in the day they were the trailers to have and that's um looking at them now they look quite dated but they were certainly quite ahead of the time especially the tabards and um when you're bearing in mind that this is your permanent home they were always kept nice they're always kept so, as good as they could be kept really so it's nice just to my daughter loves the buccaneers so she loves the mirrors and she loves the, the four mica throughout um so it's nice for her to be able to have one even just for a summer bedroom 
anyway thanks for watching the video um, take care and we'll catch you on the next one